Derpy, Derpy, Derpy Q. Ladies and gentlemen, a couple channel announcements. One, every this week's hottest cards will air at 10 a.m. West Coast time. That's 1 p.m., I guess, uh, East Coast time every Friday morning, okay? And then guess what? Guess what? I, it's just super awkward. I keep getting all these uh, uh, signed uh, card requests. And so, uh, yeah, so every signed card is going to come with its own derpy cue. Why? Because I suck ass at drawing Mimikyu. This is not on purpose. This is just how the Mimikyus turn out. So, yeah, a little, little cup of coffee, the, the Embrew, and then, yeah, you get your own derpy, derpy cue, okay? So that's my new auto. That'll be in today's giveaway. So guess what? I'm giving away a Switch video game. Well, actually, Brian Pokey and he is, but, uh, but I am, you know, because he gave it to me to give away. So if you want to win uh, this Nintendo Switch, which is in Japanese, no, there's no Detective Pima Pikachu Growlithe promo in here, okay? Chill. Is it not good enough? Is, an, uh, is a whole video game not sealed, sealed game not good enough for you? Do you really need the promo? Okay, chill. And guess what? If you want to open this up and play it, you can actually turn it to English. So you can literally have an English Detective Pikachu 2, even though it's in a Japanese box, all right? Leave a comment. That's it. Be subscribed. That's it. You'll also win this sealed Japanese, uh, whatever this is. It's a binder, I guess. It's a very skinny binder, okay? So if you want to win uh, Derpy Q, binder, Detective Pikachu, no promo, chill. Just leave a comment. And guess what? Quantum KI, you want all this stuff. Congratulations, my dude, and thank you for always watching my videos. What's going on, Bruce? Ladies and gentlemen, don't spend all your money on the first day, okay? It's the re release of Stellar Crown. I'm just saying, we all know Surging Sparks is going to be a banger. Save a little extra for Surging Sparks, okay? Just, just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Maybe even just go buy Squirtle and buy Bulbasaur and call it a day. I might actually do that. All right, so on today's list, there's a Moonbreon, y'all. Uh, Quantum. Quantum? What's up, dude? Hit me up on Instagram, okay? Anyone who wins a prize, you just hit me up on Instagram. We go from there. All right, so there's a Moonbreon on this list today, guys. So this Moonbreon, because there's Moonbreon on the list, I decided at the end of this video, I'm going to go over and just very quickly show you guys every single Umbreon that has a moon on it. <laughs> All right, are you guys ready? I just want to get into this. I had a long enough intro as it is. And yeah, so this series every week, again, is going to be now on Friday mornings at like 10 a.m. Unless you all hate that and you don't want me to do that and you want me to do everything at night like I usually do. So let me know. But in, unless you guys don't care, uh, 10 a.m., uh, that's West Coast time, so 1 p.m. Uh, East Coast time. And I don't know what the hell that is in Australia. Uh, it's probably Saturday. I don't know. But yeah, so every Friday morning, this week's hottest cards. All right, let's get into uh, last week's hottest cards, why don't we? All right, so... All right, so look at that. Armor Mewtwo for two, <laughs> Armor Mewtwo and Eevee Unigaba literally going over two months now. So Armor Mewtwo, let's just speed run through this. Armor Mewtwo is now up to $94.17. Last week we took a deeper look since, you know, he's been on here for so long. We, we went back and looked at his graph. Same with Eevee Unigaba, that thing's up again. Oh my gosh. Okay, so these two are like the unofficial mascots of the series at this point. Mine them, you're gone. Greninja. Guys, so Greninja, that's two red numbers in a row. I told you guys last week that no matter where Greninja goes uh, in the near future, we're just going to keep tracking Greninja. And um, yeah, because again, I, I expressed last week that I think it's probably going to fall to the 220 range, and then that's where I'm really curious to see what happens. So Greninja is down big, and yeah, we're just going to keep following Greninja um, to see where he goes over the next month or two. So he's just going to stay on this list. I don't care how many red numbers, I might move him to the side. But yeah, we, we want to pay attention to Greninja. All right, so uh, Bubble Mew. Bubble Mew is two weeks in a row kind of treading sideways, so I'm probably going to knock Mew off the list unless something crazy happens. Um, I'm assuming it'll be at 90 next week, and I'll just totally take it off. Uh, Legendary Treasures Radiant Collection Mew. This is now, <clears throat> it was a one-year high. 
last week and it's a one year high this week keeps going up it actually went up five whole dollars so this thing's going up very quickly Gardevoir EX uh, sideways you know it's still the new chase from base set we'll see what happens um, but yeah it's right around where it was last week so Charmander you see how there's green and then there's red and then there's two greens It's because what was that two weeks ago I was like, you know what, he's down, but I just got a, I got a weird little feeling he's not going to be down for long, so I left him on the list. He went up to 32.84 last week, now he's up to 34.60, and uh, shoot, I forgot to write all-time high, but I'm fairly confident that is an all-time high, again, because we don't count the uh, pre-release, we don't count the first week. Um, yeah, so Charmander's at, a, at, at least a one-year high, probably an all-time high. Ninetales, uh... I was going to knock Ninetales off the list, but I double-checked, and Ninetales is right back up. So Ninetales, um, you know, Ninetales saved himself, you know, just a little dip. Blastoise XY 122 promo from the XY uh, era, obviously. So it went sideways, so, you know, see what happens, but it's a beautiful freaking card, like, my god. Uh, Charizard, Ch uh, Chunky Zard. So last week I said, you know what, it's either going to break 130 and something crazy is going to happen or it's probably going to fall right back down to 120. And it looks like it's falling right back down to 120, sadly. Alright, so I'm going to do this on two pages so I don't make the font so tiny like last week. So haha, <laughs> Giovanni's Charisma, the Riz, uh, that's sideways. Uh, probably will fall off. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. Reg Drago V Star. This was the secret rare that got pumped to Oblivion uh, before Worlds, and unlike the other one, uh, it actually went up higher. But now it's starting to tread back down, down to twenty dollars and fifty cents. Pikachu and Zekrom Sun and Moon promo one sixty eight. This is a really cool freaking card, doing very very well. Uh, so it started out at twenty twenty nine fifty last week thirty. Now it's up to thirty one twenty. Squawkabilly! So Squawkabilly, bye-bye. Cleffa, I'm... Oh. These are the two... There's a lot of red right here in a row, and the only two I'm sad about are Squawkabilly and Cleffa. The other ones, who cares? Uh, so Cleffa, bye-bye. Pidgeot EX, double rare, uh, bye-bye. Drampa IR from Temporal Forces, uh, bye-bye. Um, nobody wants Earth and Vessel Hyper Rare to be worth $66. Um, so it's down to $63, uh, bye-bye. Uh, Metal Energy from uh, Shredded Fumble, um, down just a little, uh, bye-bye. So uh, Charizard VMAX, Sword and Shield 261, the uh, the UPC promo, and up down just a little, uh, bye-bye. Okay, and then Pikachu V, the Trainer Gallery from Lost Origin, it's sideways. I'm going to leave it there and see what happens. And last week's best prize banger was Marnie Full Art from Sword and Shield Base. And that was $31.50, and now she's down an, uh, an extra quarter to $31.28. All right, let's get in to this week's hottest card. Hey, look who it is. Ralts is back, everyone. Um, very familiar with this card. Let's take a look at Ralts. So Ralts from Scarlet and Violet Base. Up 27% on the one-month chart. It's, oh, man. So 1718 is Ralts's, um, let's see. Let's zoom out for you. 1718 is Ralts' all-time high, which was just a couple months ago. And right now, Ralts is at 1679. So Ralts is very dangerously high to its all-time high. Dangerously high close to its all-time high yeah there it is and yeah this is the card i said will be a 20 dollars card someday and you know it's taken a little minute to get there but that's ralts beautiful uh one of them storytelling artworks uh irs whatever you want to call it they always seem to do pretty well and yeah and karelia is doing well gardevoir is doing well these these three are base sets overall i guess you could say best cards in a way all right um Let's move on to my favorite right here. So, Komiya Artworks, just go hard. This Drowsy is my favorite card from Scarlet and Violet base set, and it's just so freaking cool. So look at this. On the three-month, you can see it's on a three-month high. Six-month and one year, you're going to see high, high, high. One month, so there it is. So you see it was kind of flat all through August and into September, and then this week, it exploded okay you see a big old volume bar right here too should we go look at the sold listings because since there's such a giant volume bar all of a sudden okay so a 912 somebody bought five copies it is that japanese 
Yep, Japanese. Gosh darn it. Someone bought five Japanese copies. So what? Where was all? Where were all these copies purchased? See, three, two, one, sixteen. Do ba do ba do 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 do. Nine six. See a lot of ones. All right, average daily sold seven. That's pretty pretty darn good. What date was this? September fifth. Hold on a sec. Hold on. September fifth. I see two. No, it's on the 6th. 2, 2, 2, 2. Oh, look at that. 7. So, yeah, between the 4th, 5th, and 6th, there were a shit ton of copies sold. Alright, so that kind of caused this little spike right here. Either way, this card's freaking beautiful as shit. Oh, my God. Alright, let's move on. Squirtle. Squirtle Squad. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Squirtle's in the freaking 30s. What the heck? Squirtle is $31.10, guys. So, uh, Charmander is doing very well. Now Squirtle is doing very well. Let's zoom way out. Just an absolute gradual, gradual uptrend on the one year. Six months, you can see it really just picked up in the last month or two. There's your three month. Look on the one month real quick. So, on the one month, we're up 13.5. Up it was as low as 26.79. Um, on August, like, what, 22nd-ish? Yeah, 22nd. And now here we are on September 13th-ish. And it's $31 into the $30, $30 plus. Man, it, these cards are just doing so well. Just so damn well. Eight average daily sold. Squared up. All right. All right. Shredded Fumble. Hound Doom. So this card is selling, what, the PSA 10 just sold for, uh, what, like 450, 500, something crazy ass bucks? So Houndoom, look here. Houndoom was sitting at, uh, 20 bucks just a few days ago, and then jumped right up to about 24 bucks. So it's at 23.59 to be exact. And, you know, you got Persian and you got Houndoom in the set. These are, those two are looking to be the two, the, the two breadwinners, if, if you ask me. And Houndoom, I don't know, this card is just so black and white. It's like the exact opposite of the Crabominal from, uh, from uh, Stellar Crown. You know, I would, I would actually love to put this Houndoom right next to the Crabominal and see a black card and a white card, just because that's kind of cool, because the other one is pure white. But if you look on the three month, you don't need to, because the set just came out. But you can see this card is almost as high as it got up to at release, which is $25.04. And it's sitting at $23.59 with a huge spike up with a ton of copies bought just in the last few days. Probably because people are seeing how much this PSA 10 is going for. All right, let's go to, here's proof that you can tell. Look, this is how you guys know. Because, I, I mean, you're not going to see this Cyrus boss's orders on any other content creator's, like, hottest cards list, I guarantee you. Unless this thing goes up to at least 10 bucks. I'm just saying, I, I don't even know how I found this guy. All right, but look at the three-month. He's on a three-month high. He's a six-month high. He's at a one-year high. I'm just going to hurry up and let you know. So on the one month, he was down. He was at four bucks, and now he's at a 664. That is a 61.56% increase. That is very good. And then check this out, guys. Ten copies sold. I think it was last week or two weeks ago that I was talking about all the boss's orders cards are just doing like really well or just doing very stable. Um, and then here we are two weeks later, and this one just kind of shot up in price. So yeah, it's obviously it's gotta be TCG related. But yeah. It's very interesting. Most of the boss's orders are obviously Giovanni. So to have a popular boss's orders, you know, lately, that's Cyrus. And this is out of the milk the, the premium tournament collection carton thing. This is the one where you also, it also came with Clara, and everybody wanted the Clara one, and not this one. Well, guess what? Clara's worth half as much as Cyrus now. <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I actually loved that Clara card. Okay, let's -a move on. Okay, so guys, here's your Moonbrion. <laughs> so guess what? This Sword and Shield promo Moonbrion, it's at $7.18. It's on the one month. Check this out. On the three month, it's been as high as eight dollars. Let's hurry up, hurry up, go to the one year. So here's what I want to show you: you have this, this, this very plateau and this gradual, whoo, almost like it was trying to follow, you know, the sword and shield bubble, right? 
and then it crashed right around the same time as the sword and shield bubble but then right here just lately it's picked up quite a bit with a lot of copies sold and on the week it is definitely one of the hottest cards of the week because on september 8th this card was five dollars and fifty cents now it's seven dollars and eighteen cents so this card has gone up quite a lot in the last week all right so in honor of this guy let's go ahead and uh take a look at some other moon Brions throughout history okay so w let's call this one um let's call this one beach moon Brion. okay and then let's call what's this one? Oh, this is just moonbrion all right you can just you could just be called moonbrion that's fine why not hmm neo discovery let's call this one dark moonbrion <laughs> dark moonbrion so dark I like that. Dark Moon Brion works for me. Aquapolis Hollow. Let's call this one Elegant Moon Brion. Umbreon V Altar. This one is Condescending Moon Brion. Oh god, dude, Sky Ridge is just so fucking good. This one, Seductive Moonbrion. Oh, and our last one, Moonfall Brion. <laughs> All right, now let's get into the uh, best deal banger. So I, I really like this one because uh, it's from one of my favorite sets, and that's Paradox Rift, y'all. So Altaria yeah, X, a lot of people seriously love this freaking card a lot. And this card got all the way up to... 45 what about 45 dollars just june july august sir. just a few months ago this card was all the way up to 45 this almost looks like a sword and shield alt art graph seriously there's your shark fin but so hold on a sec i, I we got to look at this from the one year so it was like 35 30 and then it plateaued around that 25 and then it shot all the way up to 45 now it is all the way back down to 25 dollars um, could it go down more? Yes, of course. Do I think it's going to? Not very much. I think this card, this set, there's way too much going for this card. Um, I think it's going to plateau out now, and then I think it's going to start going back up again here shortly. So, um, yeah, so that's the whole point of Best Deal Banger, is I try to identify a card that is lower than usual, or lower than ever, and just put it on your radar, in case you still need it for whatever reason. Uh, Altaria is $20 cheaper than it was a few months ago. So that is your best deal banger. All right, that's all I got. Um, thank you very much, guys. Again, just leave a comment on this video if you want to be entered in the giveaway for the Nintendo Switch video game, the, the little uh, binder thing, and <laughs> a little sign card. And yeah, so again, every Friday morning, I will be here doing this for you guys. And until next time, like, comment, and subscribe. Let's hope it's 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 h